This video guide brought to you by Repairs Universe will show you how to fully disassemble an iPhone 5. To perform this repair, you're going to need to use quite a few tools, including a safe open pry tool, a pentalobe screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, as well as a suction cup. These can all be found in our full toolkit at RepairsUniverse.com. So to begin the repair, the first thing we're going to do is fully power off the device. From there, we're going to use a SIM card injector or a paper clip to release that SIM card tray. On the bottom of the device, there will be two pentalobe screws located near the dock port. We'll begin by removing those. With these screws released, we'll be able to use a suction cup and place it near the bottom here, right above the home button, to lift up this bottom portion of the screen assembly, allowing us to get underneath and lift up the LCD screen from the back housing. As you can see here, I'm just using my flathead screwdriver to kind of help it lift up. As you can see now there's a decent sized gap and I can press the screen assembly away from the housing. At this point I'm just going to remove the suction cup and expose the full internals of the device. Located in this top left area there will be three small Phillips screws that will need to be removed from this plate covering all three connections for the screen assembly. With this plate removed, we'll now be able to use a pry tool to release all three connections. These all three of these connections will be just be normal pop connectors. So just get your pry tool underneath and gently lift up. And there we go. The screen assembly has now been separated from the rest of the device. Now that we have the screen assembly removed, we're going to remove the plating covering the battery connection. On this side here, we'll have three small Phillips screws holding in two plates covering this connection. So as all three of these screws removed, we can remove the covers and gain access to that pop connector. So using our pry tool again, we're just going to lift up on this connection. And from there, we'll be able to remove the battery. So we're just going to begin prying from the top here. This adhesive is much weaker than a normal stock phone will be. However, you'll just need to gently lift away all the adhesive and make sure not to damage the battery by bending it or forcing it open. Once the battery has been removed, we'll have another antenna connection located right underneath that battery connection as well as the dock port flex, which is located right above it. Both these connections released, we can now begin working on the lower section of the dock port. There will be two double-ended flathead screws located on the bottom here. Using our small flathead screwdriver, we'll be able to release these, as well as a small Phillips located to the right of that. and the power button and volume button flex located on the upper portion of the motherboard. On the upper portion of the motherboard there will also be two more antenna connections that will need to be released and moved out of the way so we can gain access to this final small Phillips screw. On the top right here there will be another flathead screw which is non-magnetized so you'll need to use some tweezers to pull it out and two more small flatheads covering this bracket near the camera. From here, as you can see on the top of the housing, there will be two more small Phillips screws holding in some flex cables from the motherboard onto the top of the housing. By releasing these two, we'll then be able to release the motherboard. By gently lifting it up and being cautious of the small Wi-Fi flex, which is located on the left side of the upper portion of the motherboard, we'll be able to lift this up and flip it over and release that connection. 
there's a connection right here, so using our pry tool, we're just going to gently lift it down and release that connection. From here, we just got to be cautious of that volume button flex. And there we go. The motherboard has now been fully removed from the iPhone 5. Working our way back down to the dock port, we're going to have seven small Phillips screws that will need to be removed. All these are different sizes, so make sure you keep your screws very organized for this repair. With all the screws released, we're just going to release adhesive for that dock port flex and gently lift out the whole assembly. At the top of the device here, we'll have three small float screws holding in the vibrate motor. The first one will be located up here on the top of the housing. And then there's one to the left side and one below it. Once all three of these screws have been removed, you'll be able to lift out the vibrate motor. The power button flex will be held in place with one small float screw here. There will also be a metal bracket holding in the right side of this metal plate. Just be cautious of that. Here will be another small Phillips screw over the flash and a small flathead on the top of the flash. On the left side near the vibrate motor, there will be one more small Phillips screw as well as two for the volume button. By removing all these screws, we'll then be able to lift out the volume, mute, and power button flex. Just be cautious as the flex cable itself is held down with adhesive, so you'll just need to use some tweezers or just work very carefully releasing that adhesive. Here we also have the Wi-Fi flex cable right here, which we're just going to release at the same time. And now just continue working with this upper flex cable and just releasing all the adhesive as well as clips holding it in place. Here's that clip for the outer shield of the power button right here. This is held on with a little bit of adhesive so it usually comes off quite easily. And from here we'll just release that upper portion of adhesive and the power button flex has now been removed. Here's the mute button that fell out. volume button here and the power button up on top with all these removed we'll just have one more set of screws to release which is for the side clips there'll be a total of four small float screws on the left side and four small float screws on the right side and once these are released you can just remove the clips And now swap to the other side here. With all these clips released, we'll also have one more screw to remove, which will be for the SIM card ejector. And there you have it. That is the full assembly of the iPhone 5, which will allow you to replace the full back cover. If you found this video useful, please be sure to like our video. Also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And for more helpful guides, 
please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.